Hi again, welcome to the Garage Jean-Pierre. Second part of making the light fixture for the uh, the cob, you know, the uh, the assembly. Uh, one viewer pointed uh, something out to me, like uh, the fins are not that close, but uh, they're kind of close. And uh, he pointed out, like, if you got a forced air system with a fan or something, you can make the uh, the uh, spacing much closer, and uh, that will be working as good. Um, but in a uh, natural convection system, you have to make the fins a little bit more apart, so the uh, heat generated by each other they don't they don't throw the heat at each other because they're close so uh that's something you have to take into account for the next projects uh, this one I mean it was already done the filming was done and they uh, but uh to be taken uh, for future projects and thanks for the uh input also i'm using some regular heat transfer paste this one is you know not too bad it's pretty good good quality but uh something i ordered uh, is about at least twice as good as that. You got coefficient uh, transfer factor, uh, transmission factor for those pastes, and uh, some are better than others. So uh, just keep looking in the uh, video, and uh, I'll show you uh, something that's uh, not here yet, but uh, better transfer, uh, you know, coefficient. Yeah, it's a mess. I gotta clean up because future projects, because uh, a couple of things coming in. But uh, editing, cleaning up, two things I. Uh, well, quite quite like a lot, so uh, procrastinating is the, uh, yeah, I know. But anyway, without any further uh, delay, let's go to uh, making that fixture. Okay, like they say now, assembly required. This is the uh, spring pin that goes into this little, uh, I'll try if I don't knock my fingers. Okay, that's a little bit more clever. That's going to go better. Okay, that's recessed. I'll do some fixing a little bit after this. Okay, next step, this special paste for heat sink. Uh, all you need is enough to make a very thin coat. The thicker the coat, the worse your uh, tra heat transfer is going to be. So let's add just about what's needed. The paste here, you really got to spread it very thin and let the pressure do its work. I can't, uh, if I would be able to rotate, but I won't be able with the uh, dowel pin there, so. Not the dowel pin, but the spring pin. So I'll install this here. There we go. And I'll squeeze hard enough to make everything that is surplus going out of there. This is going there. This bolt is going to be going there too. Let's tighten this up. Dowel pin. I think I'll have to. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. It's in pretty much. Let's make this tight enough. It's oozing a little bit, and that's a good thing that it does that. It means that the air will go out. All the uh, and the the, the coat, the uh, transfer paste coat, will be as thin as possible that's the uh, that's the goal there hey for this step i'll be wearing gloves the reason being that i washed the uh, the platters the hardest platters i had you know fingerprints and all the, all that kind of stuff on it and uh if you get greasy stuff or whatever on the uh, on the platters the uh problem that comes very quickly uh what's going to quickly happen with this is uh you'll get uh, the dust will stick stick to it so if you're you know you, you don't you don't look for any more reasons to have dust sticking on this. Uh, now I'm going to be starting the uh, fit on this. Come on, you. Okay, the fit on this is not loose, but it's a, it's a kind of a slight fit. So I'll be adding just a little bit of a of transfer paste on the uh, right on the between every stage there, but very little. That's not time to abuse this paste. Okay, come on, you. Get in there. Okay, first platter. I'm gonna try not to have my fingers full of it and uh, getting the platters full. Okay, there we go. First platter. Now it's getting in there. Little spin. That's good. Next step, we're going to be putting spacers. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm getting off camera a little bit, but uh, that's about the way I'm doing it. Let's see how it goes. And the spacers naturally come with the hard disk itself. Okay, there we go. Getting there. I'm being just a little bit there. A little bit there. Thing to do now, get down there without bringing it all in. Something you want to do now is a, a little spin. So this will bring the paste that I, the little, you know, the little piece of paste that I have on that will take it down to uh, all around. Okay, second platter. No, sorry, second uh, second ring. Oh boy, this is sticky stuff. There we go. So those two rings are going to be conducting together. Let's do a little spin. There we go, spreading the stuff. Those platters are getting like a su suction between them. Okay, a uh, little bit of a paste. Like I say, it doesn't, it really doesn't take much. There we go. Next one. And, pla you know, platters, spacers, so on. I'll show you, uh, show you the last step. We're there. All the platters are installed. I got uh, a few extra rings there because the, um, the depth in this cap there is not exactly uh, I, I could put 11 platters if I wanted to but I want to try with 10 um, got two rings extra rings there looks like four because the uh, reflections but uh, putting the cap all the uh, the white dough is uh, kind of oozing a little bit between the uh, if, I don't know if you can yeah I think you can see a little bit it's oozing a little bit uh, should be uh, you know making a decent contact I'm going to uh, Put this screw in, apply some pressure. I'm trying not to uh, put some grease on the uh, on the platters because the grease will attract the the always say the uh, the dust or the uh, the fine particles and they they'll stay there and the uh, let's say the uh, performance of the uh, cooling won't won't be as good. So this is pretty well stuck together. This is solid. I'll be uh, installing the U bracket on these screws there. And uh, let's do a test now. Let's install the uh, cob on this. This naturally comes um, with um, a little, uh, little adapter. The, this adapter that will supply something like 30 something volts. But the main feature of this little da adapter is the uh, constant current. It will give 30 something volts, 1.4, 1.5 amp. This is uh, the uh, what's required for the, um, let's say, the, the, the the cop to give the the 50 watts. It's uh, it's constant constant re current regulation. Now um, there is a little bit of a paste in there, not much. It does. It really doesn't take much. It just takes enough to uh, get rid of the air that's in between. And uh, if you put too much, it's I think it's worse than not having any. Get just a little bit more. Oops, sorry about the arm. Little dab there. Like I say, minimal application. And we'll leave it on test for the night. Let's uh, install this here. Screws are here. And what I'm going to do is really make sure that it's pressed on. It's really like I could almost lift the uh, the device with the uh, the wires without any screws holding it's that uh, that sticky there we go little three millimeter screws uh, oh come on there you we got two colors of cubs this one will be more yellowish is the uh, 6000 degree uh, Kelvin which is much whiter and this one being more like three three uh, three thousand degrees being like more like uh, incandescent light Let's, uh, let's finish this up. 
put this on test and uh, supper time. Okay, I don't want to blind you. Let's send the light uh, in the other direction. And I'll leave it up for the night so we'll see how, uh, how it dissipates the heat. Not too bad. Looks good. And once it's hanging from somewhere, wires will be dressed up. And power supply installed. That should be giving off a good, fair amount of light. So avoid fires. We'll keep this on metal. And that's going to light up all night. Like the whole thing's been on for a while. Just as far as heat is concerned, I mean, this, uh, I mean there's no problem of keeping my hands in uh, any part in there. Just still experimenting on the uh, on the product itself and the uh, features. Um, there's a see the cob is installed flat on this part there, and uh, I'm thinking of adding on some sides. They could be angled a little bit and uh, maybe a polish or something, but that will help diffusing the light more downwards, and also will be um, also I me mean, just as a second effect, as you know, like a side effect, but beneficial. It's going to be. Uh, sinking a little bit more heat from the uh, you know from the system okay what we're looking here is not exactly uh, you know perfect uh, perfect mirror finish but uh, reflective enough just uh, I think that should be pretty fine. Okay, those two ref reflective plates installed on each side here will help uh, send the light uh, downwards. That's simple enough operation. Scribe a line near the end. Let's, uh, let's line this up. It's a visual lineup the line there if I can just get my big finger out of there not too bad come on you that's it line is there I'm going to find the middle half inch because this is one inch wide yeah the good method of a just This is where the hole goes, and this is where I'm going to be. This is where I'm going to be cleaning up on this little line there to make a semicircle uh, in there. Okay, I know I don't have an excuse for not having the uh, ball bearing straightener like uh, John Mills got, but uh, once you're really stuck, something else you can use. If you don't mind doing a little... Uh, there you go. Okay, the plan here is to make a part, uh, something that holds on the top, I've got to be able to detach, making a groove. This is a grooving tool that's uh, it's got a one eight of an inch or a two millimeter radius, just about. I'm gonna make it as wide as possible. Sideways a little bit to make the bottom clean.
That's pretty good. Light green up on the edges. That's about it. See, uh, my straightening tool didn't even leave a mark. That's not too bad. Uh, this is an ongoing uh, work in progress. So, got some of my parts here. The top sides. I'll just put that in these screws. This is going to be on top there. And with another part, probably some kind of a handle with a set screw on the side that will allow uh, pivoting. So, uh, installing this on there. That's going to go right inside there. That's good. Dimensions are nice. So, uh, let's get uh, that's going to be welded. So, let's get the welder out and uh, do some work on this. I'm going to be welding this first. There's a little prep on there, so it helps to, uh, you know, just make a cleaner weld in the bottom of this. Okay, just a few tacks helps to keep stuff in place. Okay, that's pretty much better than before. Let's do a little tack here. And yes, it's the uh, right direction. This time. If you want to do some nice welds, get yourself comfortable. Otherwise, beep, 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 beep. So after calculations, the hole there should be 371 from the edge. That's there. We're now nearing the end. A little flat spot there goes better. 1032 screw. Just start it like this here. Get into the groove. Eventually, maybe it'd be nice to have a little handle. Yes, I have to get uh, Harold's secret for uh, making handles. If you put it tight enough, it holds pretty well. If you loosen it up, you can turn it around. Now, that's left to uh, imagination to make some, uh, you know, whether you make a plate there that's gonna screw somewhere, whether you make a C-clamp that gets in there. You know, lots of uh, other things are possible now. If you're into lighting systems, just you can have those kinds of uh, Special lighting, lighting devices, lighting C-clamps. That could be, uh, you know, holding there too. Okay, now we shop pretty, uh, just got a few, uh, a few fixtures on now. Just almost everything is off. Um, this is the, uh, the fixture in itself. It rotates, you know, just about any uh, 360 in this direction. Uh, I'm going to extend a little bit the, uh, the possibility of rotation uh, in this uh, direction. That's going to give me a better range for, uh, you know, lighting up uh, in either direction. Not much more, but a little bit more. That should be uh, should be pretty nice. Um, I can work very easily without being blinded because the light doesn't come in my eyes. It's just it's pretty well uh, directed down there where the uh, working area. I think uh, I think it works good. Let me uh, let me turn on all the other lights. I'll give you a better idea of uh, you know when I work in the shop how uh, it generally how it generally generally is. Okay, this is more likely. Uh, what I used to, uh, what I have uh, to work with, uh, light-wise. I need a few, you know, there's a few uh, few spots that I need more, and I'm working on other, uh, other types of cubs. 
These are 100 watts and uh, quite bigger. I'm working with uh, 100, 100 watt cubs for uh, other projects. Uh, I got, like I said, I got a few corners in the garage that, uh, you know, you stretch your eyes pretty much a lot to work in. So that's going to be fixed within uh, some time, whenever I have time to do it. Those are available at Bang Goods, the uh, power supply with the uh, cobs, and uh, I've been testing this cob for uh, months now. I mean, I, I don't, uh, I mean, I don't make big projects with new stuff that I don't know of, and uh, they're going to be any good. So uh, at least that's promising. I guess at this moment you can see the difference between the two cobs. The one on the right, 3,000 degrees Kelvin, uh, equivalent to about an halogen lamp or something, and the one on the left, more like daylight, 6,000 degree Kelvin. So uh, you can choose between the two. Uh, just be uh, be sure of what you need, uh, what uh, what you're gonna order. This is tacked. Not going anywhere. Next time. I'll tack it with the uh, on the proper side. Beep, 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 beep. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs>